So there's a little bit of hype around going back to linear polarized antennas from circularly polarized antennas. And I just had a, a little hunch here on, if you look down in there, you can actually see the coax cable inside of, wow, not focusing at all. Come on, phone. There we go. Uh, you can see the little coax cable that is leading to the antenna inside these little rubber duckies. So almost all of our little video transmitters come with one of these pretty mediocre quality antennas. Um, and I thought, hey, what that would be kind of neat if you could actually use this for something. So um, this is less of a, an actual weighing antennas uh, video and more of, of uh, how to get something useful out of one of these antennas. But just uh, for reference, I figured I'd show you some of the different weights here. So we get the scale here. If I throw one of these normal rubber duckies, we're at around 9 grams. Um, this is a... Moy, we're sitting around 14 grams. That's with a little case on it. This is just a pretty generic one. We're looking around 13 grams. Here's one of those Amaways that people really like. I'm a big fan of. Uh, eight grams, and these ones I tend to uh, put some super glue or a uh, hot glue on the lobes to make them a little stronger, uh, which will definitely add some weight. Here's one of the super cheapo three lobe guys. We're looking around six grams and a TBS Triumph. That's a pretty, pretty loved antenna right now. We're at around 11 grams. So that's just to give you a reference on some of these. So if you go ahead and take this antenna, you can notice that it's actually in a couple of different chunks here. One, there is a, of course a hinge. Um, there's a metal section here a plastic section here, this little hinge. Um, and then it's tough to see on the camera here. Maybe if I uh, focus a little better, it might, yeah. There's a little seam right there. So if you go ahead and put some pressure on it right here, you can actually break that seam and you will see uh, very similar to what you see on some of the other linearly polarized antennas you can get from you know, Amazon or Banggood or whatever your favorite uh, uh, retailer of FPV equipment is. So just doing that alone here, we go from right around, I think it was nine, eight or nine grams to right around seven grams. So that's a pretty significant savings. And then you can uh, pull this little pin right here. Let's go ahead and um, do that. And All right, so as you can see, I've just gone ahead here with some pliers get it to focus and peeled one of the little wings back so you can go ahead and do that to the other side as well and you can release this part unfortunately it does end up getting stuck and you will look down in there and see that there's definitely uh, a plastic wall there that is wider than this opening is going to allow what I went ahead and did um, if we go look over here, it was just crunch it all up. And so what you end up getting there, let me slide this back over here, is, oop, my scale changed modes, is right around 5 grams. So you do save a little bit of weight with just this little piece of plastic uh, removed over that section there. So I also noticed that you have that plastic section and a metal section here and I was thinking that this was just a regular old uh, RPSMA connector uh, or SMA connector and I could just break that edge but it seems as if they actually use this edge of the plastic here uh, as a little gasket kind of deal and your actual connector is pivoting on that piece. So that little plastic piece is there. So if you're, uh, if you're planning on doing this and leaving the SMA connector, you're limited to right around five grams. You might be able to with a Dremel or uh, some, fancy, some fancy work here, get this thing down, maybe another gram. But what is interesting is, this is the exciting part. If you go ahead and just take a look at your VTX, all right, so we can take a look at this video transmitter and you'll notice there's three pins there. The outer two are just touching the casing of that SMA connector 
and the inner one is touching the inner pin of the SMA connector. So what you can go ahead and do, and you can save yourself a whole bunch of time from having to crunch up all these uh, separate parts here, is just give it a quick trim. So you've got it to this point here. You can, let's zoom in there. You can pretty easily just go ahead and give it a snip. Slide this plastic end right off. And now you're left with just that part. There we go. And that brings you down to zero milliliters. Let's go into a mode that makes sense. Uh, right around zero grams. So my scale thinks it's less than one gram. Um, so what I would recommend doing with these little guys, if you just strip back a little section of this here, uh, you can expose some wire on the inside. That is where the center pin of this guy would normally be connected. And then the outer section will have um, uh, a, a metal shielding and you can strip that off into two little sections or even just one and connect it to your outer pins there and you're ready to go. You can even remove the SMA connector entirely from your VTX and shave a whole bunch of weight off of your vehicle. Um, you're not gonna get as good of reflection canceling. So the whole benefit with these circularly polarized antennas is that they come out in a corkscrew. When they bounce off of something, they will come back in the opposite corkscrew and your receiving antenna won't pick that up. It will only pick up the same direction as you've got the reversing one will be uh, significantly diminished and by the time it bounces off of two separate things you've lost a whole bunch of signal so you're not getting a whole bunch of echo back into the system your linearly polarized antennas will not do that because it will just come out like a sine wave and bounce right on back like a sine wave so you do definitely get reflections with these antennas that said your gain ends up being slightly higher um, and your weight ends up being much much better clearly as we've noticed here um, so if you're flying outdoors or low power, um, you might be able to get away with these as long as you don't have too many other hard objects around trees and walls and things like that. Um, so that's something you could definitely give a try. I know if you're anything like me, you've got a whole bunch of those antennas sitting around doing absolutely nothing at all. So maybe it's worth a try on an old VTX or uh, just for fun. Have a good one. Enjoy your new linear polarized antenna for basically free.